Let's take a look at creating exhibits. There are two types of exhibits, fenced and terrain. Let's first take a look at fenced exhibits. In order to complete a fenced exhibit, you must completely surround the exhibit with fencing. First, left click on the Animals List and Details menu button, then on the Terrain Editor button, then on the Fencing tab. Now, left click on the Stick Pull Fence thumbnail. Move the cursor to the nearly completed exhibit and left click and drag on the terrain between the two end pillars of the fence you need to enclose, which is marked with blue lines. For the purposes of this tutorial, you can only add fence skid. You now have a proper enclosed exhibit. The only thing missing is an entrance. Without an entrance, your employees cannot enter the exhibit to tend to your animal's needs. Left click on the Add Exhibit Entrance button. The only thing this exhibit is lacking are some animals to liven it up. Left click on the Adopt Animal button and find a giraffe. And left click on the thumbnail. You can then place the giraffe in its new exhibit. Add one male and two female giraffes. To change the gender of the animal, left click on the Adopt Male and Adopt Female buttons located to the left of the Choose Animal menu. Good, you now know how to create fenced exhibits. Creating terrain exhibits is a bit more tricky as this involves using the terrain editor. So, left click on that button now. The terrain editor is a powerful tool that allows you to sculpt the terrain to your liking. When you see the terrain editor, left click on the toggle grid button, then the large animal in order to create an exhibit with the Now, left click on the terrain to raise it to roughly the same level as the blacked out terrain and release the mouse button. Note that you can only edit the terrain highlighted in blue. Again, for the purposes of this tutorial, you should see that the terrain has been blacked out. If not, then just raise it a bit more. Keep raising the terrain until there is a completely blacked out layer going around the terrain. When you are ready for the next step, left click on the next button to continue. Very good. You now know how to create terrain exhibits. However, we still need to add in an entrance for your staff to access the exhibit. In order to do so, you will need to add an exhibit entrance. To continue, place an exhibit entrance along... Your staff can only walk on relatively flat terrain. And, as such, despite having an entrance, they may not be able to enter the exhibit due to the steepness of the terrain. To find out, left-click on the Terrain Editor tab. Left-click on the Grid button, then the Staff Constraints Grid button. It'll show you whether your staff can walk through the entrance and into the exhibit. The three grid constraint buttons can be turned on simultaneously, so you might want to turn off other grid constraint buttons to see only the staff constraints. When you have examined the terrain around the entrance, left-click on the next button to continue. Hmm. Seems that your staff cannot walk past the entrance after all. Let's smooth the terrain a bit for them. Left-click on the Smooth Terrain button. Smoothing the terrain will allow your staff access to the exhibit, and with the entrance there, your animals will still be safe within the confines of the exhibit. Make sure you don't smooth the terrain beyond the... Creating exhibits can be time-consuming, so we have a nifty little feature that allows you to save and load your best exhibits. To save an exhibit, simply left-click on the Save Exhibit tab. You will see the Save Exhibit menu. Double left-click on the Save New Bar. Then left-click on the exhibit you want to save. Finally, give your exhibit a name and left-click on the OK button. Very good. You now know how to create terrain exhibits. This is now a fully functioning exhibit, allowing staff in and keeping animals from escaping. Let's add a female and male elephant to this exhibit. As we've been toying with the terrain editor, let's see what else it can do. One of the most useful features is raising and lowering terrain. Not all animals like to live in flat terrain, preferring hillier mountainous features akin to their natural habitat. First, left click on the terrain editor button, then on the raise terrain height button. Move the cursor somewhere near the empty patch of land marked with blue lines and left click to raise the terrain. You can create hills and mountains. The difference between hills and mountains are a subtle one. 
The higher the value set with the smoothing slider, the more smooth hills you'll generate. Conversely, the lower the value set with the smoothing slider, the more jagged or mountainous the terrain will become. Left click on the next button to continue. You can also create fresh water pools for your animal to drink at. In order to do so, click on the fresh water button and left click and drag on the terrain where you wish to create a fresh water pool. Try it now inside the blue lined area. Left click on the next button to continue. That's about it for now. Let's summarize what you've learned in this tutorial. You need to completely fence off an area to create an exhibit. Terrain exhibits require altering the terrain so that animals cannot escape. Remember to turn on the animal constraints grid to see whether animals can be confined within the terrain. Both types of exhibit need a gate for zookeepers and other staff to enter and tend to the needs of your animals. Add new animals to your zoo through the Adopt Animals menu. And remember to review your goals and good luck on your assignment.